got a message for the Trumpites that want to come to my channel. And I just had one here that was saying, I've got a dark heart and I'm sacrificing babies to Satan. And I mean, just going off on all sorts of nonsense and crap. Um, and I just wanted to say to that person, you know, have you ever read the Bible? Have you actually read it? And you've got absolutely, uh, you're purporting yourself to be a Christian. I've got a dark heart and have I ever heard of Jesus? I know of Jesus quite well. And have you ever really read the Bible and see what Jesus says? Okay rather than just going to the Old Testament and taking something out of context and then come here and say the things you're saying to me? You ever heard about not bearing false witness? And when you come to somebody, like you came to me, and you're telling me I'm sacrificing babies to Jesus and I've got a black heart and I'm not the one that's putting a sexual pervert on a pedestal a liar, a thief, a con man, okay? I'm not the one that's doing that. It's you that's doing that, my dear. He's broken every commandment there is. He's cheated on his wives. He oogles young women. He's gone to Epstein's thing how many times riding the Lolita Express, raped a 13, 14 year old girl. And this is who you wanna put on a pedestal and say, I've got a black heart because I say something against him. You really think that God, who's giving all these things, and if you actually read what what Christ or Yeshua ben Joseph, his actual name is, um, is uh, you know, uh, Yeshua. It's not Jesus. If you're gonna talk about Jesus, his name was actually Yeshua ben Joseph, son of Joseph, okay? So apparently you've never read what, what Christ actually says. Okay? You don't follow what Christ says, the Christos, Yeshua ben Joseph, a.k.a. Jesus. <laughs> You're batting for the other side, okay? Because you think Jesus is going to put him on a pedestal, raping young women? starting a beauty pageant so he can go backstage and see them undressed, okay? This is the man that you're putting on a pedestal. This is the one you're calling me a black heart because I speak out against him. This, okay? Um, I, I've got news for you. Jesus would never put on a pedestal a man that's broken every commandment that there is, okay? Absolutely not. So, you know, there's somebody that's selling their soul, and it's not me. It's not me. And you have a man out there that actually said, I don't care about any of you, I just want your vote said, I don't care about any of you. And you think he's joking. He's not joking. He doesn't give a rat's ass about any of you. He cares about one person and one person only himself. Okay. And do you know why Satan fell? Do you know that Satan was the head of the heavenly choir? But why did he fall and take one third of the angels with him? Why did that happen? Because he wanted all the glory for himself. He developed what? Ego. Okay? He developed ego. 
I want the glory for myself. Why am I going to give the glory to God? I want it for myself. Okay? He became an ego-identified being. And he fell, and he took one-third of the angels with him. Well, may I remind you, there are two-thirds of the angels left. Okay? So if you want to follow somebody that's an ego maniac, like Trump, who's a narcissist, who wants all the glory for himself, then good luck with that. You might want to check your heart and stop going around and bearing false witness about people and claiming that they have a dark heart and they're sacrificing babies to Satan, etc. all the rest of the BS and drama and lies that you want to put out there. Because that's what bearing false witness means. It means lying about somebody, okay? And if you'd actually ever experienced God, you would find at the heart of being that God is love, okay? God is not a narcissistic thing that they wanted to portray in the Old Testament, that he's a jealous God. No, man was making God in his image, okay? The ego. And Yeshua ben Joseph came to dispel that notion and to educate people and to give them the truth, okay? But what's happened? These so-called white nationalist Christians have turned their back on the truth and gone with the Old Testament, okay? Wanting to create God in their image. So, you know, you, you need to have a wake-up call. Yeah, I know, I know, Trump or Trumpites uh, Magatonians hate the word woke. Jesus was woke. Buddha was woke. It's the first thing the Buddha said when he, when he got to realization. And that's what it's like. It's waking up out of the dream, okay? Coming to actual reality, which you know nothing about. And I doubt you've ever even read the New Testament. You're probably one of those Trumpites that goes to this evil angel church. I call it the evil angel church because really what they're doing is preaching in the name, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, what's 180 degrees away from what Christ came to teach. <coughs> so you hate being woke? You want to cast that? And that's what the Bible says. The end times, they will say the light is dark and the dark is light. And that's what you do when you put somebody on a pedestal that's broken every commandment and say that he is God's representative. Oh, that's so brilliant. And like Trump says, he likes stupid, ignorant people. Okay? He loves ignorant people. And ignorant people are those that go and listen to these ones and don't check for themselves. So go actually read what Christ was saying. Get a Bible that's got the red lettering. You know that red color, that red lettering? And read what Jesus was actually saying. And then see if you're white nationalist Christian church, this evil angel church. That's why I call it the evil angel church because it's not preaching what Christ said. And I've heard some of those evil angel churches said when the, the preacher was getting up there actually preaching what Christ was speaking. We don't want that woke stuff. So they were saying, we don't want Jesus. We don't actually, we want to use his name. We want to use the name, but we don't want to actually what he's, no, uh-uh. That's not what we want, okay? We want to feel superior, okay? We don't want to actually follow 
what was being taught by by Jesus, what he came to teach. We don't we don't want that, okay. And that's why I say these changes, these churches, the evangelicals, evangelical. We're angels, angels. Well, no, they're they're part of the. Uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but they're antichrist because they're preaching in the name of Jesus, okay? And that's what it says in the end times, they will have those preachers that wanna, you know, look like this, you know, lovely little sheep person, but inside they're ravaging wolves. And that's what you've got, okay? You've got the deniers of Christ, even though they say their name, you could say his name all day, okay? May I remind you, there are a lot of Jesus in Mexico. Jesus is the name of Jesus. <laughs> and you could say that name forever. But if you are saying the name, you know, and you're not following the directives, like I said, faith without works is dead. And when you're going around bearing false witness against people, That's, uh, yeah, it's not a good thing to do, okay? And who are you to proclaim what anybody has or doesn't have, okay? You might want to actually read the Bible. Actually read it, study it, okay? And if you actually study it, you'll see the Old Testament is basically the Jewish history of their drama with the other tribes and what was going on there. And then they had the Savior, okay, which they, most uh, Jewish people are ignoring, you know, that came and tried to reform Judaism Okay, and they, you know, had him taken out for that. Okay. So I'll leave that here. But I just wanted to give you an FYI. What you're following is not light. Again, you think that God sends someone like Yeshua, Jesus, to dispel these notions, and then you put up somebody on a pedestal that's totally against everything that Jesus says, okay? Yeah. So on that note, I'll leave that here. And the only thing you accomplished here is to maybe get a little bit of a lesson about what's actually in the Bible and the fact that these evangelical churches, not all of them, now some of them are perfectly fine, but the trend I've seen happening, and it's happened for quite some time now, that they are in an antichrist movement, okay? absolutely an antichrist movement so on that note i'll leave that here good luck with your life but you know i feel sorry when you leave the form and you leave the body and you get to the other side and have a life review and you find out what you've been involved with okay good luck with that because you don't get out of anything Okay? You don't get out of anything. And the thing that you've said to people, you will know exactly how it affected people. And so you are in for a lot of hurt when you leave the physical form.